came out as very much a surprise to me, but got a call maybe three weeks ago to say that I'd been nominated, and that in itself was good enough for me. Like I didn't expect it at all. So uh, then to get a call this day last week, say come up and collect the award was very exciting and very something I'm very proud to to win. I played a few games at 18s and a few games at 19s last year, so some way on age, some year up, and uh, started with 18s. We went over to Spain and played Belgium, Holland, and Czech Republic, and three very very tough games. So obviously I was quite busy in them, but three like three of the best teams that you're going to play at our age, like three teams that you expect to be playing if you qualify for the likes of Euro Championships. So that was the start of the year. Then I got called into the 19s. Uh, the 99 born group playing Europe so something very exciting got to go to the elite phase in Portugal with them and then just gain all the experience that I'm going to use this year hopefully at my own age. Yeah! Obviously it is something I'd like to have gone to it's not I'm not going to be able to go but I'm not going to complain when I'm going away to play for Ireland in Russia in European qualifiers, like it's something I'm very much looking forward to. So it would have been nice to be at, but I've no real complaints at all, especially now that I've even won the award. No complaints from me. Yeah, so definitely 18 Russia is not somewhere that you expect to be going to, but that's where the draw is taking us. So we go there now on Saturday. We've three flights before it, but go there on Saturday, play Romania, Azerbaijan and then the host, obviously Russia. And if we top the group, we qualify for the European Championships in Armenia in July, which is something that we'll definitely be aiming to do. Yeah, so all three games were in Longford. Uh, Holland, Slovakia, Faroe Islands it was. So we won all three games. It beat Holland 2-1 in the last game, which was a big, big win, top the group, which Got us, a seed, got us as a seed in the draw for the elite phase, which definitely is something that we wanted to do. Three very good wins for us, so now kick on into the elite phase with it. Yeah, so international level is definitely one thing I've noticed is every team is decent, every team, they're not, you don't come up against bad teams at international level, so that's the, pri the primary focus for me. Nearly the whole team is just clean sheet for us, because if you get a clean sheet, you have a very good chance of winning, especially with attacking players that we have. No, it definitely doesn't get old. Like it's every time you put on the jersey, you're excited, a bit nervous, but definitely it's not something you get used to. It's not something you take for granted. Every time you're called into a squad, you're very bu like you're buzzing. You can't wait to get in. It's definitely every time you put on the jersey, hundred percent, it's an honour. Like. Yeah, it's definitely always nerves, but I feel like our team, like especially with the likes of Tom Mohan as our manager, we're always we're always prepared for games. We always like we know the ins and outs of the other team, so that one hundred percent helps us. Is when you're prepared to try and take away as much nerves as possible. Yeah, so I've signed with Pat since I was fifteen. Played seventeens for two years, then moved up to nineteens. Got my first senior professional deal when I was seventeen. And then I signed another one now in the, the start of November for this season and next season. So something I'm very proud of, like to be a part of this club. So hopefully long may it continue and I can keep pushing on. Yeah, definitely. I think the standard of the whole club this year has gone up, especially in the underage setup as well, because I think the underage setup is very, very close to being what the first team is. Like when especially you see now with players stepping up. It's not big, it's not a big deal for them. You're coming in, you're doing the same thing every day as you would be as the 19s and 17s are trying to model on. So coming back into the first team in June, July, hopefully won't be too bad for me after missing a few months because of school. Yeah, definitely that's after all my concentration is 100 percent on Russia now. Come back and I'll have to try and balance school and pats, but that's the one thing I just want now is just skilled to be finished, get all the exams over and done with, put the work in and then be a full-time footballer that I've wanted to be. That skill has sort of, this year especially, stopped me from doing since we've gone back into mornings where I can only train maybe once or twice a week in the morning. So hopefully skill will fly through, exams will be done and back being full-time.